Hello Flames, it's Nico. It is Monday. I don't freaking know the day after the weekend of St. Patrick's Day. So it's, it's like the week after St. Patrick's. You know what? I should have looked it up. I haven't had the heart to replace the calendar from Mom Carter from last year. So we'll just, we'll, we'll just look. It's March. 20th. Holy crap, it's the 20th. Okay, so it's Monday, March 20th. 20th. That's that one. Oh my god. So that's uh, later than I expected it to be. Not bad, but still. Oh my goodness. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting a little chilly. First of all, I had a lunar flower adoption on Saturday because they weren't done on Friday. <laughs> but I had a lunar flower adoption on Saturday and thank you to everybody who has adopted. All of your kind words, all of the comments on pictures, it really means so much. Even if like nothing was adopted, the comments really help and it helps my engagement online also. So let me show you some of the lunar, actually let me show you the lunar flowers. We're gonna start with Forget Me Not. This is a small, it is adopted and there is a custom commissioned for a matching one. This is the Tiger Lily. It was the first one to be adopted by the VIP winner. Also small. And this is the Red Roses. Also adopted. Also the small size. I love making these. I love making these so much. Um, next is the Calla Lilies. This is adopted. This is the medium size. Next we have in medium, come here, sunflowers. Looking for a home still. It will, I need to update my website and add these. Um, I want to say this, this is medium. <laughs> this is adopted. This is the mythical mushrooms that I did. They're a play on actual purple mushrooms. Um, but I added just my own spice to them. Very pretty. Adopted. Should go up there then. This is the Fancy Frills Tulip in pink. This is in large. That will be going up in my shop. Next, this is the first one I made, is the Sakura, the cherry blossom, Sakura. In large. Love it. I love all of them. I'm really happy with how they all turned out. And last but not least, in large, we have poppies. And that will be going in my shop also. So I have four lunar flowers that will end up in the shop. They will also be priced for the public. Everybody that is in the Elven Grove gets a special lesser price because I, I feel like art should be affordable I really do I think my prices are affordable as compared to many other artists but I feel like my art should be affordable um because I know what it's like not to be able to afford art simply simply that um so the there are better price points in my group during those adoptions. Um, once they hit my website, my web store, they are priced normally. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. But they are priced normally, which is still less than a lot of other artists would sell them for. Um, each of these lunar moons, each and every one took almost six hours to make, which is fine. It is my choice. I made them and I, I like having the ability to be like, yes, I'm making these or no, I'm not making these. 
definitely my choice to make but I really love them I think something magical has happened in making them and in creating them and it makes my heart happy it really does um so thank you to everybody who's adopted everybody who has commented everybody who has shared I am trying I am very bad at multiple social social medias. I still haven't posted from a month ago, maybe longer, my updates for YouTube. I still have not done that. I'm, I'm gonna make a con an effort to do that tonight. I'm gonna turn on YouTube itself on my tablet and upload stuff from my phone because everything, all my videos are on my phone, and hopefully get caught up. Um, I am also planning on a springtime crystal confetti. It's going to be weird. I need to find a new name to call it, mainly because on the tick of talks, I cannot use crystal confetti, random stuff. It's because of a lot of bigger people, bigger businesses. Um, are, have done it and it's considered a form of gambling and the ban on keywords like that happened unfortunately when I put my last batch my Valentine's batch up and I got like one or two views per video which sucks it it was not uh, so even though at the moment hopefully by the time you see this, it won't be. I have my Valentine's Crystal Confetti listed in my shop. I have to, I have to pause that, take it down. And um, I will be making either a springtime batch or a D&D role-playing adventuring batch. I don't know yet. We'll see, we'll see what happens. I don't know why my eyelid, this is very dark. Oh, I guess it's just the eyeshadow I put on, anyway. So yes, that is, that is the thing. A new crystal confetti will be coming. Um, what else? I am going to be working on springtime chibis. That is my next set of things to make. After, sorry about the on. After I get this custom moon for the forget-me-nots, and a dragon, I'm not showing the dragon, but after I get these two customs done, I will be working on chibis. I want to do something in springtime, flowers. I don't know exactly what, uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing something in springtime with chibis. They might have Easter eggs. I don't know, they might have glitter sugar eggs. I honestly, I have no idea. Um, I would like to do a small release of witchy hats for springtime. I feel guilty, very guilty that I did not do them for Valentine's. I just, there was no time. Valentine's was not a very big timeline considering I was recovering from the Rona. <laughs> so I didn't have as much time as I would normally do. I usually start Valentine's in January and that did not happen. Um, I did do a St. Patrick's Day adoption, a Shamrock adoption, the Shamrockin adoption, if you will. There are a couple of pieces like this adorable unicorn who will end up being in the shop with last year's Shamrockin creatures that are looking for homes. Um, what else? I did recently do a giveaway in the Elven Grove, another reason to join it. Mm -hmm. um, a new Elfling actually won. I had a couple of Elflings join in recently, and one of the new, new Elflings won the giveaway. It was just a small thing. It was just a St. Patrick's Day giveaway, so they'll be getting some luck given to them. And yes, that is that is what my brain has for the moment. My crow brain wants to order a crap ton of glass beads and gemstone beads and make more jewelry. 
I have a whole bunch, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try not to order any. It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try not to order any, um, and use what I have, which is a smart thing for me to do. And get to making some things. Um, yes, I can't believe it's the twentieth. It's crazy. So yeah, I think I might make a couple more covered tins, maybe a uh, covered journal sets. I think my Patreons in the near future, if you join a Patreon, if you join my Patreon, um, from the fifteen dollar and up tier, will be getting a special thank you. I mean, the five dollar tier Patreon will also be getting a special thank you, but the fifteen and up will be getting a special er, a more big er thank you surprise that they are not normally signed up for um because i really appreciate my patreons they are you are if you are one of them you are literally the backbone of ellen's fun and the reason i can afford to do this so thank you so much i look very pale in this video but i have not seen the light of day in almost a year like really <laughs> I've been inside. I am quite, I'm quite the pale ghosty girl. Um, so yes, I'm looking around. I don't see anything else that I should. Oh gosh. Oh, excuse me. That, that pops into my, boom, you forgot to answer this. Other than springtime creations, I don't know if I'm going to focus on Easter or I'm going to focus on spring flowers or what. It's just going to be what it is this year. I haven't decided. I'm just going to let the mood take me and take me away. Um, last year was a lot of sugar chicks and sugar bunnies. Uh, I think the year before was a lot of Sakura. And I don't know. I don't know what this year is going to hold. I do know that I have, I still have a Unicorn Horn Wish bottle from last year's Easter. And it's Sugar Chicks. There's no bunnies in this one. But it is all the colors. Almost all the colors. There's no blue one. There's four Sugar Chicks in here with Unicorn Horn and an Easter glitter mix. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do for spring. I just know springtime. I want springtime. I'm really feeling flowers right now. I really want to do flower pot dragons. I need to get the flower pots. Um, I also, oh crap, that's why I need to make the Michaels order. I need to order miniature flower pots for the small ones because I really, really like how they, they are compared to the regular size flower pot dragons. Um, so yes, that is that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hop in, make that order, or at least add it to my cart, because I already have a Michael's cart that's overflowing. It's just how I shop. Um, I will put things I want in the cart, and then I just take out the things I don't need, don't necessarily need, and usually when I get it down to an acceptable <laughs> amount, I'll purchase. Um, also, what was I going to say? Then I have to upload all the videos I have not been uploading. Alright, I love you guys. Please stay happy, healthy, and safe, and I will talk to you later. Bye! Mwah.